hi guys welcome back it's thursday so i'm back again with another video in this week's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i created these epoxy free ceramic mugs using alcohol inks my name is melissa crafter and i do upload a video every thursday so please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and also don't hesitate to ask any questions in the comment section um, don't forget that i'm here to help So you're going to start off by gathering your materials. I purchased my mugs from the Dollar Tree um, and then I did purchase these Tim Holtz alcohol inks from Amazon. These are just the colors that I chose to use here. And then I also did prep my mug. Um, I don't, I didn't film while I was prepping it, but what I did was I just gave it a quick sand with 400 grit sanding paper, made sure that the entire mug was sanded well and then I did wash it and then that was all that I did for the prepping and then I did purchase these um, needle tip uh, squeeze bottles that I am going to fill up with 91% alcohol um, I did purchase these off Amazon as well I'll link everything that I used down in the video description as always um, but I did fill it up with 91% alcohol and then I'm also going to have my 91% alcohol um, by me because I'm going to also be using it fr directly from the bottle. I am going to put on gloves to do this alcohol ink process just because sometimes it can get a little bit messy and it is hard to get the alcohol inks off your hands once it is dried up on there. I was inspired to create this these mugs by a TikToker that I follow. Um, her name is Graceful Rain Art. I'll go ahead and link her TikTok down below so you guys can check her out. Her work is amazing. You're going to start off by just adding a flood of 91% um, rubbing alcohol on your mug. You do want to be sure that you're using 91% or higher um, and then you're going to go in with just a few drops or as many drops as you as you want of the alcohol inks this is um, something that you can play around with um, something that the end result is going to turn out beautiful regardless of how much or how little you add just play around with it guys have fun with it and um, yeah just play around with the colors and then I'm going to also go in with my needle tip um, squeeze bottle there and just add a few drops of alcohol and that makes the alcohol inks spread out and then i'm also going to go in with the same um needle tip um squeeze bottle and i'm going to clean up the rim because i do want the rim to, um, on the top to be white so i'm just going to be playing around with the colors guys moving them around with my needle tip uh, squeeze bottle just adding alcohol um, wherever I want the colors to spread out and then also going in with my heat gun and then drying it up a little bit so that I know what the colors are going to end up looking like and then I just kind of play with it guys if I don't like what it looks like I just go ahead and flood it again with alcohol like I'm doing here um, and then just kind of play with the colors um, until you're satisfied with your design that you create with your alcohol inks don't be afraid to flood your cup um, if you don't end up liking the design that's on there. Um, you can always, um, like I said, flood your cup with alcohol and then add more colors and then dry it off with your heat gun until you are satisfied with your design. I don't allow my alcohol inks to run all the way to the top of my the rim of my cup. I usually clean it off with a napkin. And then I also go in with my needle tip alcohol squeeze bottle um, just to kind of clean off the rim and leave that white that part of the mug exposed with the white um, the regular white color from the mug. That's just personal preference that I like to do. I love how the gold um, alcohol ink looks in any mug so I always add gold no matter what colors I'm using. I always add in some gold because the gold makes um, just all the colors come together and pop a little bit. So now that I am done with my first one and I am satisfied on how my design looks I'm going to go ahead and start on my second one. Um, for this one I am using the Bria Reese brand of alcohol inks instead of the Tim Holtz, but I'm also going to be using the gold, um, metallic gold from Tim Holtz on this one as well. I'm going to be adding gold on this one. 
So I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to add a flood of alcohol first and then I'm going to go in with my alcohol inks and I'm just adding them randomly and then also going in with my um, my needle tip squeeze bottle and then just kind of adding it randomly in random spots and just kind of doing the same thing playing around with the colors um, moving the colors around with the alcohol using the needle tip and then also cleaning off that rim to expose that white from the mug and then moving the colors around also using my heat gun um, just playing around with the colors um, you can try to move the colors as much as you want um, depending on the look that you're going for and then just continue doing it guys if you guys don't end up liking the design go ahead and flood your cup and then um, until you are satisfied with that design that you get there is no wrong or right way to do it just have fun with it and at the end your cup will look beautiful regardless so like i said just play around with it and um continue just playing with the colors until you are satisfied with your, with your design once you're done with your ink design you do want to wait at least a day to allow your inks to fully dry So once you let your cups dry for about a full day, you're going to want to go ahead and seal them using a Kamar varnish. The Kamar varnish will seal your designs onto the cup and it won't reactivate or allow the inks to run once you do add bright tone to your cup. I did do two coats of the Kamar varnish and I did wait an hour in between each coat. So here I am adding my second coat of Kamar varnish. Um, after my second coat, I am going to allow these cups to sit for 48 hours before I add any bright tone to allow the Kamar varnish to um, fully gas off. Now to seal my mugs, I'm going to be using Bright Tone from the Crystalac company. I'll go ahead and link it down below for you guys, but you guys can purchase it at the crystalacstore.com. Bright Tone serves as an epoxy alternative and it is a water-based non-toxic top coat. Since it is non-toxic, it is safe to use um, even indoors and you don't need any personal protective equipment unless you are sanding or spraying the product. It does have a 30-day cure time, but after 5-7 to seven days, the cups are okay for light use, of course following proper care instructions. So now that I've waited 48 hours after spraying my Kamar varnish, I'm going to go ahead and start coating my cups with Bright Tone. I'm going to um, add a two coats of Bright Tone before I add my decals to my cup. And I am going to add the coats the same. I'm, I like to um, first add Bright Tone to the um, mug handles. When I do mugs, I do first do the mug handles. And then I go ahead and continue coating the uh, rest of the cup. And then I just make sure that the entire mug is covered in bright tone just a thin coat you don't need to add it too much just a thin coat just enough to where your cup isn't dripping and then i am going to allow this to spin for an hour and then dry for an additional three hours um, every coat is added the same you do want to make sure that you add just a thin coat and then allow your cup to spin for an hour allow it to self level and then um, dry for an additional three hours So I added my second coat of Bright Tone off camera, but I added it the same exact way as I added my first one. I just added a thin coat and then I allowed them to spin for an hour and then dry for an additional three hours. So here my cups are completely dry from the second coat of Bright Tone and I'm going to go ahead and add my decals. I cut out my decals using my Cricut Explore Air 2 and I purchased this vinyl off expressionsvinyl.com. It's a beautiful gold vinyl and I'll go ahead and link it down below. But I'm going to go ahead and just add um, both of my decals to my cups using some transfer tape and my scraper tool. Once 
Once my vinyl design is on my cup, I am going to go in with my heat gun and just um, hit my, my vinyl designs with my heat gun just for a few seconds to make sure that my vinyl designs are well adhered to my cups. And then I'm going to go ahead and add another coat of bright tone on top of that to start sealing up my vinyl design and continue glossing up my cup. I do, as I mentioned, I do the, um, the mug handle first and then I go ahead and coat the rest of the cup. You do want to make sure that the entire cup is covered and just adding a thin coat. And then as I mentioned, I'm going to just allow it to spin for an hour and then dry for an additional three hours. I didn't film every coat that I gave my cup. Um, but I am going to um, sand after the fourth coat. So this here is my third coat and then I'm going to go ahead and add another coat and then I will be sanding after my fourth coat. So once my mugs are fully dry from my fourth coat of bright tone, I'm going to take them outside and give them a light sand using 600 grit sanding paper. I'm just going to make sure that my entire cup is well sanded, um, going all around the cup, making sure that I well sand um, the entire cup before I bring it back inside and continue coating them with bright tone. Once I finish sanding my cups, I'm going to bring them back inside and I'm just going to wipe them off using a lint-free cloth. I'm not going to wash them or anything. I'm just going to go ahead and wipe off um, any remaining sanding dust um, using my lint-free cloth. And then I'm just going to continue coating with Bright Tone. I'm going to start off by coating the mug handle. And then I'm going to continue coating the rest of the mug, um, just adding a thin coat of Bright Tone. Making sure that my entire mug is well covered in Bright Tone. And I'm going to allow both my cups to spin for an hour and then dry for an additional three hours. As I mentioned, I didn't film every coat that I gave these cups. But I did in total give these cups seven coats of bright tone. Every coat is added the same. You do want to make sure that you do allow the each coat to dry for four hours before you add your next coat of bright tone. The four hours consist of allowing your cup to spin for an hour and then dry for an additional three hours. So that's it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up um and also as always if you guys have any questions don't hesitate to ask down in the comment section and don't forget to follow me on instagram my instagram name is melissacrafter00 thank you